to Afghanistan now and the ongoing humanitarian crisis as the U.S. tries to evacuate American citizens and thousands of Afghans who want to escape the Taliban. The chaos turning deadly outside the airport gates there in Kabul amid a crush of people desperate to get out. ABC's Ian Panel joins us now with the latest on the ground there in Afghanistan. Ian, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Wit, from Kabul. We're actually outside the Pakistani embassy and the crowds here you can see gathered are similar to the crowds we've seen down the airport, but it's much more orderly here. Pakistan and Qatar are the only two countries really in the city helping to get people through the chaos, which doesn't seem to be improving, and into the airport. Meanwhile, this morning, a new potential threat from ISIS militants with some planes coming in having to make combat diving landings and as they're taking off they're having to fire flares this morning the u.s evacuating nearly 4,000 people from afghanistan over the last 24 hours but that's still fewer than the day before uh, the u.s military airlifted nearly 6,000 uh, evacuees in a single day uh, six u.s military c-17s and 32 charters departed kabul now the U.S. administration insisting evacuation measures are ramping up. President Biden telling ABC News there was anywhere between 10,000 and 15,000 U.S. citizens still in Afghanistan, with 2,500 Americans among the 17,000 evacuated from Kabul. This is the chaos and confusion outside Hamid Karzai Airport enters its seventh day. And this is how bad things have got. The UK Ministry of Defence confirming to ABC News seven Afghan civilians died in the crush Saturday right outside the airport gate. Devastating video showing bodies covered by white tarps. British soldiers trying to keep people hydrated in the blistering heat. Stay there, stay there. Despite the growing turmoil, tens of thousands remain, many scrambling to get out of the country. The U.S. Embassy now advising U.S. citizens still here to avoid the airport altogether and seek shelter unless they have, quote, individual instructions from a U.S. government representative. The debacle unfolding over a week after the Taliban took hold of the capital, Kabul. President Biden pledging again to evacuate all Americans and Afghans who aided the war effort from the country. We're going to do everything everything that we can to provide safe evacuation for our Afghan allies. But let me be clear, any American who wants to come home, we will get you home. And on a U.S. military plane, this Afghan woman going into labor mid-flight while fleeing the country. The baby delivered after landing, both now in a medical facility and in good condition. While some people on the flights leaving the chaos behind, for those left in Kabul, the fear of the Taliban driving them to try to get out. Now, military vets stepping in to help. Lieutenant Colonel Scott Mann is part of Task Force Pineapple, a group of veterans using their connections on the ground to try to help get allies to safety. You know, I'm sitting here right now because of some actions that some Afghan friends of mine took years ago on my behalf, and I'm still here as a result of it. And now it's our turn. We spoke to one Afghan woman residing in the U.S. for college. Out of concern for her safety, she's asked to remain anonymous. Her father, a human rights activist, along with the rest of her family, still stuck in Kabul. And I'm trying to have faith and hope that they are going to get out of the country. That is the only way I can survive this well, this morning, the British Defence Minister writing that if the US wants to extend the August the 31st deadline, he will certainly support it, basically indicating there's very little time to try and get people out. And I have to say, at the current rate of getting people through to the airport and out of the country, it seems impossible that they can meet that deadline. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.